Welcome back. Action pack two. Uh, I just want to know basically what y'all are trying to see next. What, what, what do y'all want to? Do y'all want to watch next? Um, streaming has been going pretty good. We're at 15 followers, trying to get to 50. So if you haven't followed the stream, which is on Twitch, make sure y'all go do that. I'll put a link in the description. Also, to my family and friends, as always, I love I love y'all. I hope y'all have been safe and enjoying life. Yes. To my internet family and friends, I hope that y'all haven't let the negativity online disrupt your real life. And to the pack as a whole, I hope that God slash the universe has chosen you to remain blissed. Now, with all that being said, I want to say thank you to everybody that has already followed the Twitch. If you haven't, like I said, once again, in the description, if you haven't liked this video, what are you waiting for? Huh? Thank you. Took you long enough. All right. Now, also, we have hit 200. I think we're at 216, 217 right now on YouTube. So, thank you for that. We are headed to 225, which is the next subscriber goal. Um, I forgot what I said I was going to do when I hit that. Hold on. Let me double check. I know it's a. Whatever I do, it's going to be a. A, it's a try not to get scared exercise challenge so every time i get scared if i jump scared if if i jump even a little bit even in the slightest but, so i need a video recommendation for a try not to get scared because we're almost at 225 as soon as we hit 225 i want to stream that um so if you have any uh suggestions for what scary video we could watch or movie or something um, also, did y'all hear that Scary Movie supposed to be getting a reboot? The Wayans Brothers are, uh, they're coming back for another one. Trey Rags wants to be a part of it. Wish you the best of luck, brother. So, yeah, we got 225. Once we hit that, we'll do a try not to get scared exercise challenge. I haven't decided what exercise I should do, whether it be a burpee, uh, just a, a push-up. Not a regular push-up, because I can't do regular push-ups. I am a big nigger, bro. Pushing all of this weight at once off of the ground against gravity. Good luck to you. Oh, so on Twitch, we're, we're at 15, which thank you guys who, who have followed over there. But our goal is to get to 50 followers. That's the next step towards affiliate. Um, We're at 15. So as soon as we get there, I, I think we'll get there in no time, honestly. Um, just got to get the right games to play. Because I realize uh, you guys like the games more than the it, than me, essentially. Um, that comes with time. So we'll do... I don't know what game. That's, that's what this video is for. I want to know what game y'all want to see. So I have a list, you know, the, t uh, if you don't know the two scary games playlist, I have that link to that in the description or either in the comment section, go check that out. Essentially what I do in two scary games is I take two indie horror games with the essentially the same. So we got two scary games. Also, I've been wanting to play Madison. So if you want to see that, um, let me know, uh, evil within two. I know I played the first one did not like it one bit but i hear evil within 2 is much better also one game i am looking forward to that playstation had on there they had that at the playstation event i forgot what it's called but it's called hell is us that looks dope if y'all haven't seen the trailers for that make sure y'all go check that out um also there is a another video i i want to do is there is a there's a post i made probably a little over a year ago essentially trying to understand the point of releasing an unpolished game as an indie developer like you like as someone who plays if you play video games you you're gonna develop a game you 
normally time you're not gonna develop a game before you play the game so you know what a bad game is when you play it so i just wanted to understand the point of an indie developer doing that like i can understand why a triple a or double a developer even some of these bigger these bigger indie developers like torture star puppet combo uh chillers art scott calton the, these guys that groups like that that develop games you know they have a bigger they have more disposable income towards testing their games so it it does make it after i posted it it, it took me a while to like reading the comments that people gave i'm like it i started to understand that yeah it's it, it works the same for indie developers too you do need people to test your game you don't have like there's only so much you can do as a developer of a game versus someone who just wants to play the game those are two different i think it's a thin line but that that's basically what the post was about and also in that post someone gave examples of games that are that are good examples of what i was looking for as to putting out polish versus putting out like a demo i i just think my issue is when someone posts a game like on itch.io or even game vault game game jolt game jolt something like that or even on steam announcing it as like a fully playable experience kind of no what knowing well enough that you should probably be putting this out as a demo i don't know it it, it left a bad taste in my mouth at the time i don't know it just I, I couldn't wrap my head around it at the time but there there's some games on there that someone recommended so if y'all want to see me go further deeper into that then let me know uh, it's called reddit recommended oh and also um no code is the developer for i believe either townfall it's I, I believe it's townfall i believe no code is the developer for silent hill townfall and they have released their own games previously i would like to play both of those they're on sale right now so i'm gonna grab them because they're only on sale for the next couple of days so i need to grab those before they go back to full price because they're on both games are on sale for like six bucks so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that uh just in case y'all do want to see that if you don't want to see it i'll play it anyway and let y'all know what i thought and what i think no code is gonna be able to do with the upcoming silent hill because i'm looking forward to what silent hill got coming up i'm not gonna lie to you I, most people are either silent hill or resident evil fans i'm a fan of both my only thing is i don't consider resident evil a horror game i don't like giving resident evil the credit for being a horror game because i believe it's more of an action adventure game um what i mean it is what it is you know it's gonna be what it's gonna be it, if it's if they want to classify themselves as horror classify yourselves as horror i mean now resident evil 7 that's a different story because that's a great game not gonna lie to you that i think that's their best horror game that is resident evil 7 biohazard is capcom's best horror game plain and simple cut cut and dry if you haven't seen me play that game, link in the description. But yeah, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to check in. Hope, hopefully everybody, hopefully y'all are doing good. Let me know how you, how you've been doing. Have you been enjoying the videos? Um, has your car broken down? Were you able to get it fixed? Is it still in the process of being fixed? What about your house? You haven't had any leaks in your house, have you? I hope not. That shit is tough. Oh yeah, you haven't been smoking too much, have you? I hope not. You know that's bad for your lungs, right? You know that. What am I doing, huh? I don't know either. I don't know. I'm just trying. I'm yo. I'm just trying to connect with you. Trying to connect with you, bro. I'm, I'm behind the camera. I'm talking to myself essentially. Whatever. Whatever. I appreciate y'all for watching. 
let me know what y'all want to see next i'll probably put a poll up i wish you i wish i could put a poll in the comment section that'd be dope youtube you think that's something you guys could do i think you guys could uh allow creators no matter the size well maybe with some stipulations um to put polls in the comment section especially if you're the creator of the channel that'd be that'd be really dope youtube or maybe allow an extension for us to do that that'd be really dope i have given suggestions to youtube before so and they seem to have liked them and that's that's another thing hold on hold on, hold on. i gotta get my i gotta get my off real quick i gotta get my off so i i don't know what to think when bigger creators watch my videos and there's no credit to where you got the idea for the joke thumbnail title um editing style i, I like what he did right here you know what Yoink. appreciate you gang like bro can i get some credit like just a, even a shout out like nigga this this is what i hate about making anything it's always gonna be someone bigger taking your sh claiming it's their own acting and niggas wonder why niggas hate drake bro niggas wonder why niggas hate drake like, that nigga that nigga that i'm gonna start bleeping out too the whole line you hit my ringtone don't you <laughs> yo yo that's my ringtone if you hear this out in public it's probably me brother who is this hello you're eligible for great newly added benefits like monthly 180 dollars cash back dental hearing vision prescription coverages and food cards at absolutely no cost so, do you have Medicare Part A and B? Huh? Hey, remove me from your calling list. No. Nigga, I appreciate y'all watching. Um, what's love? <laughs> stay blessed, y'all. Please, please stay blessed. Let me know what y'all want to see, bro.